What up, door homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle, and we're back for a follow-up session. I promise you I will learn more about scales and chords and things like that and practical ways that we can use it. And now I'm back with some a little bit of feedback. Now, a lot of this information, i got to give a special shout-out to a few of my uh, commenters and uh, YouTube uh, friends, fans, or, you know, fans, friends and followers. And um, a few people gave me some ideas, a few ideas, gave me some updates. One thing I noticed, I told you I was going to be getting some thumbs down, but I didn't know I was going to get that many. But I found out that um, the volume of my, uh, this video was really, really low. So I have to apologize for that. You having to crank up your uh, audio and get all that air and hissing your speakers. I'm sorry about that. So I'll make sure next time that the audio is better. And that's one of the primary reasons why I, I came back very fast and very swiftly because uh, I want you to hear the practical use for the new features and functions and reason. And I don't think that was a fair shot because the volume was crazy and there was a few quirks that I thought was actually quirks, but they really wasn't quirks. Just your homie Grant Tizzle didn't do his homework as brought out by my homie down here, Killick Beats. He said, man, you stupid. <laughs> so everybody already know I'm stupid, so that ain't nothing new. But it said, use the direct record switch. That uh, that way you can record MIDI notes directly. Now, ironically, uh, bruh, I actually tried that. I tried your idea, and um, I still find it troubling because it, uh, it did allow me to, for example, it allowed me to play one chord but again the issue still stands where i can't change that particular chord but i did find a, a workaround and we're going to talk about that today fam we're going to come up with really something really nice because i found a a a, a, a better way of freaking and tweaking the things that we have to work with all right um so the other thing is i want to give a special shout out to um again um of course, Big Vic, that's my homie. But Michael Green, Michael Green brought out that my volume was down. And we was going back and forth. And then when I first uploaded it, it was loud. But now I hear that it's low. So I apologize to everybody for that. And I um, promise you on this one, you're going to hear it nice, loud, crispy, and clear. All right. So um, with that, and shout out to Dwayne Music and um, Big Vic. And Jacob Martinez, he's been holding me down for a long time. And, of course, everybody else, Low Keys, Yusuf, all y'all. What up, though? Special shout out. All right, so let's get to it. Oh, especially Chaos. That's my man right there. All right, so let's get to it, fam. We're going to move on to the next thing. And what we're going to do, I'm going to show you a few things that I learned from my YouTube friends and fans. And I'm going uh, to ex re-express it back to you. And I'm also going to show you some things that I found out. So let's move on and start making some tracks. First thing let's do, let's go back and talk about chords and um, scales. Okay, fam. So the first good news I heard about scales and chords is that you can automate some of these buttons. And I was happy because I was trying to find out what's the point <laughs> if you can't do nothing with it. So it makes sense. And I should have thought, you know, I'm a cuckoo clock, like my homie boy said. I'm stupid. So, you know, I was too dumb enough to realize that, oh, you got to be a way you should be at automated. But anyway, I want to give a shout out to P, P Chaos because he brought that out to me. He said, automate the knobs, idiot. Buttons and switches on the chords and scales device. No, he didn't call me an idiot. Actually, he gave me a smiley face. And I said, thanks, P. He said, no worries. Happy to help. So thank you, homie. For helping your homie, Grand Tizzle. That's what we do. We help each other. So, anywho, once I discovered that, I'm like, okay, we own something right now. Cool. Now, how can I use this in other practical terms? Now, it, I was in an argument about the scales. Another person cussed me out, called me stupid and idiot, and told me to take down the uh, video. I forget this person's name. But, um... They said, uh, you don't have to use chromatic, you know, use the other scales. And I'm like, OK, I just want you to keep in mind that a lot of us don't read. We kind of just dump, jump right in there and just want to get to work. You know, we don't really want to study nothing. <laughs> you, know, you know, we don't want to read. No, nobody want to read, you know. But, you know, for the fact of the matter is we kind of do want it user friendly. You almost kind of want to look at it and kind of pretty much know what to do. You know, whatever the case may be. Keep in mind, we all 
majority of us is, you know, uh, music illiterate as far as uh, music theory. We music theory illiterate. So we don't know a lot about it. And that's that was that's actually the sole purpose of something like scales and chords for for thus those of us who don't know theory. So if we don't know theory, you know, it's going to be a lot of fishing and funking around trying to figure things out. <laughs> a bunch of Fs. <laughs> so any fan, anyway, fam, um, uh, what I did was I started playing around more around with the inversions. Inversions. And I know hip hop production, hip hop and R&B production is, you know, di- you know, predominantly in the, the minor keys or the chromatic. And the, Dor- and the Dorian. But in this particular one, I chose minor. And what I decided to do was mess around with my inversions. Now, keep this in mind. And this is for my Harmony Navigator people. This ain't necessarily for everybody on YouTube. That's why I get a lot of thumbs down. Y'all cussing me out. I'm primarily talking to uh, the Harmony Navigator reason users. You know, people that's using Harmony Navigator to seek and find harmonies and navigation and chord progressions and things like that. So this is a chord progression. So I went from the one to the two and then um, I went straight to the to the five. Five, five, one. If you know about the one, you know, if you know about the number system, if you don't know about the number system, I'm going to shamelessly promote hip hop and session chord progressions. Get it. That's all I got to say. Get it. And it will teach you and it will help you to understand the basics of um, music theory. And it will help you to understand the basics of the cycle of fifths, the cycle of fourths. And then you'll be able to know how to use Harmony Navigator. With that knowledge, you can also be able to know how to use that more efficiently. Um, but anyway. So that's primarily the people I'm speaking to. I'm speaking with the people that use Harmony Navigator to find chords and progressions to produce their music. So my thing was to find a practical way to duplicate these chords. And somehow replay them back in here. Now, again, the last session I did... uh, we set up our chords here. We set up our notes. We set up the amount of notes in the chords, right? And um, and then we start playing around. But we notice that if we set up five notes and we have, if we see, you know, well, right now we in B flat minor. But if we was a C major, we would get the C major with all of those notes, you know. So if you add five notes, you're going to add the. Uh, fifth, the seventh, the thirteenth, the ninth, and all of that. So I was trying to find a way how we can because keep in mind when you set this many notes in your chords, each each button that you push is going to play that many notes. And we were trying to find ways, variations, for lack of better words. That's all I was trying to do, fam. Just find variations. And I think, especially with this altar, I think we may have found a solution. So messing around with inversions and messing around with alter and also messing around with add. Now I left open chords off, even though it sounds very beautiful when you put when you go to chromatic scale. Open chords sound beautiful, but for this I just kept it simple. I, I, st- I stuck with the minors. I added five notes to it, so it's five chords as opposed to one. It's five. It's five notes in a chord. And I did an inversion and I went to inversion three and all of a sudden something happened. Now, let me show you something real quick. Here's my chord progression uh, of the song that I wanted to do today. That's beautiful. Now, let's take it from the from note one. Check this out. Let's add two. Now, it's not fair. Let me make sure. Let me take this inversion down to zero. Notice what happened. That's fine right now, but once you start adding notes...
Now that do sound good. Don't get me wrong, fam. But we, you know, we like flavor. So we want to add more notes. We want to add more color. So I go to five. Now I'm noticing it's kind of sounding a little clunky. You feel me? It's sounding clunky now. I'm at five and I'm at zero inversions. Before, when I was using my inversions, the inversions were sounding garbled up. You know what I'm saying? Bunched up. So that sounded good, but that didn't sound too good. That sounded okay. And when I said, wait a minute, inversion two sound kind of okay. So now, now listen to this poor chord progression as opposed to zero. Now we're going to co compare the two real quick. Check this out. So you still, it sound good, but you still hear the little tension or the dissonance in there. So I'm like, wait a minute, it's getting closer. Now compare it to this. So I didn't like these higher notes. I'm like, okay, the inversions, you know, it's just, it kind of sound spread out like the open chords and I didn't want the open chords. So check this. So let's compare this real quick before we start the track. Let's compare this. So this is zero inversion at five notes, every note, you know, five chords. Oh, and the, I'm sorry, I apologize. I also added the octave down. So what that is, is, is basically adding the root note. Dun, 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 dun. That's the bass I'm going to play. So look at this, y'all. That sounds like I'm drunk. I am drunk, actually. Okay, so check it out. So, anywho, um, so, so you heard the inversion, zero inversion. But I found that it sounded better at two. It sounded a little more practical. But I said, it sounds practical, at more, more practical at two. Let me try three. So I did this. I said, now we on to something. That sound much more practical of, of how we would actually really truly play it. And keep in mind, I'm talking about hip hop and R&B producers. I'm not talking about theatrical music or cinematic or pop or rock. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking strictly hip hop, R&B, or neo soul. That's that's what I'm talking about. That jazzy feel. So I found the inversions uh, at three actually worked out for me, and I said, okay. So now we really, really on to something. So we went to B flat. We stuck with a minor. We added five notes. We kept it closed. We added a down note just so I can hear my bass. Da 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 da. da. I mean. And if you want to know what the bass note or the root note to all your chords is, simply click the octave down. Simply click that and you will hear the root bass note of every chord that you play. So you don't have to guess what the bass is supposed to be. And watch when we put the track together how everything gel together. Now, in version 4, it was just too all over the place for me. So I stuck with three and I found I found my niche. Now, the other issue that I had was, where do I find my fifth? Where's my fifth? So traditionally fam, and, and if you're using the number system to play your chord progressions, not if you know music theory and all that other stuff, you know all that, then just ignore me. Don't dumb down me, man. Just go to another video. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Do whatever you want to do. But um, if you're using the number system, you know we start at, at any number, but we always want to end up at five going back to one. In this particular progression, this progression actually started at one, 
then it goes to two, then it goes to five back to one. So you always want to end up going from five to one. And let me show you what I'm talking about real quick. My Harmony Navigator people know what I'm talking about. Here's the number system. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and sharp, seven and seven sharp. This is the progression. So you can start anywhere. If you don't know, you can start at uh, three, down to two, then go to five, then two one and it works for anything and, and this is the system I like to use because you don't have to guess we can start at six go to four go to three go to five go to one or what if you wanted to start you can start at two two three uh, six sharp six five one and that's how it works and that's how that's that's the reason why we like to use the number system because it's a fail safe method at doing any perfect harmony any perfect production and that's why we fell in love with harmony navigator because it made it easy for us once you understood music theory the basics of music theory again shameless plug hiphopcoreprogressions.com or go to todaysbees.com and find hip hop core progressions. I'll make a link at the bottom. Learn it, fam. Jeez. Are you kidding me? You serious? You don't know music. So, anywho, um, my issue was f finding the five going back to the one. Now, what I like about the five in Harmony Navigator is that the five, you have a lot of dissonant chords. And then a consonant chord. Now, if you don't know what desonant and consonant is, desonant is like uh, dis discordant, uh, friction, irritability. Uh, did I say that right? Of course I didn't. Um, you know, irritable, uh, tension, tension. That's the tension chord. Uncomfortable. Then you always want to go back to normal. You always want to go back to one. You always want to go back home. But I didn't find attention here i didn't find attention check it out this is supposed to be tension it's a teeny tension you know it's a five going back to one but it's not it's not it don't give you that that tension so i was trying to find so how can we add the tension lo and behold the alter button so here we go. Now check it out. Here's the first pass I made. Now here's the second pass. Then I hold the alter. Hear that tension? And then the tension. You hear that extra note? Da, da, da. You hear that tension? It's tension there now when I hold the altar. So that was my dilemma with the scales and chords. Now we're gonna I'm gonna do a little bit more research. Probably gonna get a lot of thumbs down again. That's cool. I'm gonna still do some more research and find even more practical ways of using this. But that altar button found that altar button is going to be our little magical our little magical twist to all our chords and scales and progressions unless of course you're doing like a like a, a techno song or a house song or a, a pop song then you're not you're not so much worried about um the the tension keep in mind this art to kind of like creates that tension for us uh, you got a beautiful chord here but if you hold this altar you hear that that off note you know it's, it's just not it's not complete that's complete that's not complete it's, you know it's something that's supposed to, supposed to go behind that so when you're playing your progressions or you see how it it uh, you see how it tense tenses up da, da. 
as opposed to you hear the, you hear the difference? They say. Duh, 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 duh. You hear that other note added? Uh, so this note, this altered note, make this feel safe, happy, comfortable, relaxing, even though we're in a key, we're in a minor key. So I had to bring that out, fam. It's very important. I thought it was very important. And we, again, we was looking for practical use for hip hop production. Hip hop, hip hop, R&B, neo soul. This is specifically for that fam. Not for everything else, you know. We can just go straight for everything else. All right. So I found that out. The good news again too is I found a way to alter it and actually record the alter by automating it. All right. So with that in mind, let's get to making some beats, baby. Let's lay down the beat, fam. Well, actually, the beat is already made. This beat was from the last session that you didn't get a chance to hear. Now, with everything we just talked about, we're going to actually apply that. Actually, what we're going to do, first, the first pass, fam, we're going to say, da, 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 da. second pass, we're going to say, da. then we're going to alter the second chord. You hear that tension? Then release, then tension again. That way, when it go back to one, it sounds natural. So let's lay that down. something fam no it's something new i'm about to introduce y'all y'all gonna love it watch this it's this promotion that kept poking and poking and poking around and kept sticking poking out in my face it's called string work and you know what i'm I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a shot i was kind of impressed by a lot of the works that was going on in their little software it's a little taxi it's 99 i think it's 99 bucks but uh i think it might be okay i think it's kind of cool what i decided to do was i was impressed with the features and functions and perimeters and i said well how i wonder how good it would sound with scales and chords <laughs> that was cool so what i did was took string work and assigned a player to it and i put the player you know the key of b flat made it a minor set the same notes same inversion cut everything off and decided to use the same chords. Then, then alter. And I, I liked it. So let's check out what the results ended up being. So that one finger situation kind of coming in handy for a homie because, um, hey, it's just one finger and this sounds pretty darn productive. Now let's move on to something even more fun, the bass. Cool. Now we came with uh, came up with a really powerful, very strong musical production piece by using one, two, three, four, five different fingers. <laughs> Pretty doggone impressive. 
Let's move on to one more song. All right, fam. I found a really cool guitar here. And um, the way it works, if you hit it soft, it plays just a, a note. But if you hit it hard, it plays like, you know, it curls up. I don't know how you explain it, but it curls up. And I like that because that's, that's, that's how it goes. That's the real deal. That's how it really goes now for the real guitar. But anyway, I added a little dirty, and what I wanted to do was kind of just dirty it up. Actually, it's a sound that I don't necessarily need to be there. Uh, I would actually probably keep it there with the hook, the chorus line. Now, what you're hearing, when you hear the final result, you're hearing a production. You know, you're hearing a production piece, you're hearing a production demo. But you're not hearing it with vocals, singers, rappers, things like that. So, it's not the full, complete, uh, you know, progression of a track. It's just, you know, it's just... Just an idea here, but uh, for the most part, uh, I'm, I'm really impressed with with it now. And I told you guys that I was going to do a little bit more research. I said I need to do I need to do a little bit more research. And you know, when I first got it, I kind of just dived into it and I'm like, okay, uh, just right off the bat, uh, this is what it is. This is you know, and this is how I'm feeling about it. But let me do a little bit more research. I may find out some other things. You know, my YouTube friends, you know, give me some information. You know, some some be a little harsh about it. You know, some be cool about it. <laughs> you know, but, you know, I, I accept all I accept all input. And, um, you know, I found different ways and, you know, beneficial ways of tweaking things, things like that. And it, it pretty much worked out to uh, to all of our advantage. So um, I like it, fam. I, I like it. I'm, in, I'm impressed. And um, I'm 100% going to take the step and move forward on getting uh, Reason 9. And, I, and keep in mind, I haven't even done, we haven't even used the echo and the arpeggiator or the pitch correct with the vocals. Oh, oh your homie Grant is definitely going to be singing. If a heart in the house tonight, stand up. You know, I think I got this raspy voice. It sounds like a horse when I sing anyway. I got it from my dad and my granddad. So I think I'm supposed to sing like that. You know, because I can't try to sound like, uh, do everything, everyone, everything. I can't sound like Drake. I can't sound like everybody else. I got to sound like, it is a hard in the I got to sound like Teddy Pendergrass. I'm an old school head. But anyway, fam, it's uh, pretty impressive. Check it out. something fun to it but uh, i think it's pretty doggone good i'm very very highly impressed and again this is just first knowledge you know we we haven't even literally gotten to the meat of it we, this is just scraping the surface just the, just the top of the iceberg fam and it's a it's a giant mountain reason is 100 percent of a mountain and just off the surface i see the benefits of it fam so I have to rebuttal and take back some of the things I said in the first tutorial. I'm going to keep the first one out there because it was my first review. But now that I'm digging deeper into it, fam, I'm, I'm very impressed. Very impressed. And I'm happy. And not only am I happy, the newer tutorials from here on out are going to be mad crazy, fam. Mad crazy. And you know how your homie Grant Tizzle is. I love to dig in there and kind of get tools and let things turn one thing into something else like we got this good tar, but we turn it into something else crazy because we add the pulverizer to it or whatever this is called the alligator the filter filter and gate triple filter gate and make it some crazy things you know and that's where the music is going anyway so you know to be able to do good music but chop it up and break it up and turn it into works of art that's where it's at fam all right so with that fam i'm going to sign out but there's a few announcements that I have to make. Shameless promotion, of course. I'm still running the 99 special. If you want to get the entire collection, hip hop and session, everything. And when I say everything, that's you get the tutorials, you get the Photoshop tutorials, you get the music video production tutorials, you get the website production tutorials, you get the beat making tutorials, you get the drum sampling, sampling, sample sounds. 
and you also get um what is it something else in there you just get everything just go over there and check it out you get everything i'm running i'm running a five-day special so if y'all want to check it out go, go over there and benefit two more other announcements hip hop in session volume 2 2016 is being released in two weeks i'm running a special if you want to grab it before it come out you get the early bird special so just go over to todaysbeast.com and uh, pick it up and uh, when it come out you get it at the discount price or you you know you get the discount price right now and or you know you know how you want to do it you can wait till it come out and pay full price or whatever it's all up to you and uh, last but not least, I'm producing a show, a real show. You know how you see like uh, American Idol or America Next Top Model, Tyra Banks and all that? Your homie Grand Tizzle is producing a real show, a real broadcast network show. And the benefits of this show is you. The show is based around you. You is going to be involved in this show. And I'm just going to give you a sprinkle, a, just a teeny bit, because I don't want anybody to take this idea where it's copywritten, but I'm just still going to sprinkle out because everybody get bright ideas and they try to do that. But it's going to feature you. Going to feature you. It's going to almost kind of be like a world star, but it's going to be a real broadcast show. But it's going to feature the new up and coming producers or artists or the new talent, the new creator. It's going to feature you, fam. That's all I can tell you right now. But just stay tuned. I will keep you updated. I will keep you posted. It's going to be released in three months. It's in the workings right now. But in three months, we're going to be releasing. And hopefully your face or your talent or your works can shine in this new show that's all i can tell you right now but um that's it for now and i got a lot more things to bring your way uh, take advantage of a few you know sales i got things like that you want to learn more uh you want to take you know, take advantage of the discount you can jump on um hip-hop session volume 2 2016 now or you can wait to release or you can never get it it's all up to you but um just stay tuned for the following tutorials for all my photoshop heads my next tutorial will be for you, all right? And I'm gonna be teaching you specifically text. We're gonna talk about text, fonts, where you find your fonts, type of text you should use for your album covers, this, that, and the yada. All right, it's your homie Grand Tizzle, man. I'm done. I'm drunk. I gotta drink a little bit more. I'm gonna sleep. I should stop saying that. Well, I will eventually get to that point. But right now, we having fun. All right, fam, that's it, man. It's your homie Grand Tizzle. I'm about to go in there and chill with my wife, watch a movie, maybe run, or what's that movie called? Run or something. I don't know. Something. We're going to watch something fun. Loving basketball. She love that movie. All right, fam, I'm out. I'll see you in a minute. I'll see you on Spin It. Thanks for watching. Till the next time. Peace. Fam, a lamb, a lamb, jam. <laughs>